In this video, we will be solving a quadratic equation by factorization method. The equation that we will be taking a look at is x square minus 13x plus 30 is equal to 0. Let us first understand the meaning of solving here. It means determining the value of x. Now what is x? x is a variable that is x can have any value be it 5, minus 1000, 2 by 7, 4.1, literally any numerical value. We use x as an alternate to represent a value that we do not know. In contrast, there are some values in equations which remain constant and do not change ever. For example, consider the number 25. Now this 25 is a number that will remain to be 25 forever. It cannot be written as 2 only or 5 or 52 or any other random number that comes to your mind. It is 25, a constant value and it will remain so. Now let us take a look at an equation and identify the variable and the constant terms. Here x is the variable and it has the power 2 which means x is multiplied twice that is x into x. Next we see the term minus 13x. This term contains both a variable and a constant. Minus 13 is a constant value while x is a variable. In the next term we have 30 which obviously is a constant. Now let us go a step higher. Here you can see in the equation the highest power of the variable is 2. By highest power I mean the greatest power that a variable has in an equation. Here the variable is x and in the first term that is x square the power is 2 and in the second term the term is minus 13x and the power of x is 1 and there is no other term containing the variable x. So we conclude that the highest power of x in this equation is 2 and such equations having the highest power as 2 are termed as quadratic equations. So now we know that the equation that we have in hand is a quadratic equation. Now here is an important information that you will need to retain. The standard form of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Here a, b and c are constants and x is a variable. Now let us compare the standard form of quadratic equation with the example from before. On comparing the first terms we see the coefficient of x square that is a from the standard form has the value 1 in this particular example. Similarly, b is the coefficient of x which is equal to minus 13 and c is the constant term having the value 30. Now that we know our a, b and c's, let us move on to solving this equation. The first step is to multiply ax square and c. Clearly, we will get x square into 30 which is equal to 30x square. Now we need to do some extra work. We need to figure out what are the combinations of variables and numbers that when multiplied give us 30x square. The two factors resulting in the product 30x square must each contain a variable and a constant compulsorily. To understand, let us take 30x square and find its factors. We see the factors are 30x and 1x, 5x and 6x, 10x and 3x. Similarly, minus 30x and minus 1x, minus 5x and minus 6x, minus 10x and minus 3x. All these combinations, when multiplied, give us 30x square. Do remember that the sign is very significant. In 30x square, the sign is positive. So the factors should be such that 
when multiplied they gave us plus 30x square only now these factors will be used in the later steps coming to step number 2 observe and note bx carefully along with its sign here bx is equal to minus 13x and that's it for step 2 we will now move on to step 3 which is by far the most important step step 3 is to figure out what factors of 30x square when added result to minus 13x consider the pair of factors of 30x square 30x and 1x when we add them we do not obtain minus 13x So let us consider another pair of factors of 30x square that are 5x and 6x. When they are added, we get 11x. That again does not equal to minus 13x. So let us consider the next pair, 10x and 3x. When they are added, we get 13x, which again is not equal to minus 13x. Now let us consider another pair of the factors. Minus ten x and minus three x. On adding these two terms, we get minus ten x plus minus three x is equal to minus thirteen x. We have found the factors of thirty x square, which when added results to minus thirteen x. The factors are minus ten x and minus three x. Now let us move on to the final step, factorizing. The equation is x square minus thirteen x plus thirty is equal to zero. Firstly, in place of minus thirteen x, let us write minus ten x minus three x, which is also combination of factors that, when multiplied, give us thirty x square. So we will get x square minus ten x minus three x plus thirty is equal to zero. Now we will take x as common from the first two terms and three as common from the last two terms. So we would get x multiplied by x minus ten minus three multiplied by x minus ten. Now taking x minus ten as common from the terms shown, the equation will look like this: x minus ten multiplied by x minus three is equal to zero. Now, when x minus three is taken to the right hand side, it becomes a denominator to zero, and zero divided by x minus three is equal to zero. So we will be left with x minus ten is equal to zero, and when this minus ten is taken to the right hand side, we will get plus ten. That is, we will get x is equal to ten. Similarly, when x minus ten is taken to the right hand side, we will be left with only x minus three is equal to zero. And when this minus three is taken to the right hand side, we will be left with x is equal to plus three. So we get two roots or solutions for this quadratic equation that are x is equal to three and ten. When I say that these are my roots, I mean to say that when I would put x is equal to three or I would put x is equal to ten in the left hand side of this equation, I must get the result as zero. So in this video we have learned how to solve quadratic equation that is to find the value of x in a quadratic equation by the method of factorization So that is it for this video thanks for watching and see you in the next video